the headband that we just joined with an invisible seam has now become an ear flap hat and this has involved knitting up stitches along the top of the band and knitting up stitches to place the ear flaps on. So we're just going to take a quick look at how to knit up stitches. This is the lucky number headband. It's not yet turned into a hat, you could leave it at this stage. But if we want to turn it into a hat, we have to decide where to knit up stitches for the crown of the hat. The choice is yours, you could knit two stitches up so we've got one, two, three, four stitches in our I-cord and we could knit the side of two and three. And this is why you prefer to use the term knit up rather than pick up. Because pick up implies that you sort of dig your needle through and pick up all the bits of the old yarn. Whereas in actual fact, we're just simply sliding the needle through throwing the yarn around as if to knit and knitting the, the yarn through. This is one of the manoeuvres that is slightly easier for right hand yarn operators but it can be done just as well with the left hand. Now if I knit up along there I'm going to have one and a half stitches of my eye cord showing. I actually prefer to roll my fabric over and knit up on the fourth stitch. So I'm going to take both sides of the fourth stitch, so there's the two sides of the of the I cord stitch, and knit up along there. And that'll give me a nice bold cord around the top of the brim of the hat, um, just as a, a feature of the hat. And all I do to do the crown of the hat is knit up one stitch per row of the eye cord and this will give me exactly the right number of stitches for the top of the hat and there is my nice bold eye cord edge showing. This is a partly finished lucky number hat and it shows a few things. There is the the gather at the top of the hat, there's eight stitches and I've threaded the yarn tail through the eight stitches and it makes a nice neat closure at the top. You can see the markers that I put in to mark the decreased positions and on this hat I decreased once before the markers and then on the next decrease round I decreased in the middle so that you get a much more rounded look to the decreases because they're not all in the same position. This is where I attach the crown of the hat to the top of the brim, leaving me that nice sort of beaded look. The other thing I've done with this hat is to turn it and knit up stitches, again on the eye cord, and knit a facing. All I'm going to do is to sew that facing down inside the hat and that will give me extra warmth on the ears. So a little bit more finishing and we'll be done.